a few days ago I was talking about an audio converter called sound converter um, that one was great but it only supported like the, the major formats um, if you have some like unknown one or you know you don't have like the most known one you're probably not gonna use that program so today I'm gonna talk about GNAC or GNAC uh, it looks like this it's almost the same as sound converter um, but when you click on add here uh, you can see that the supported formats has increased um, the new files are 8 files uh, .aac, um, .m4a uh, real audio files, the .ra uh, mpc here, I don't know what that is but and windows uh, media files or wmas I know a lot of people still use this I don't know why but as they still do so if you have one of those formats um, you can use this program to convert it to mp3s or flac or aug um, when you okay for this instance I'm just gonna add in a flac file and we can convert it to mp3s right so we have our flac file here and what you wanna do is um, go to edit and we gotta do some settings in here uh, in this case we're just gonna put in the same source folder and we're gonna change uh, to artist and title so it can look sexy like this close it off that's pretty much it um, the clear difference is this is uh, has the conversion files in the front so you can choose it um, for this instance we're just gonna use uh, mp3s um, when you click on edit here it's, it's it's um it's not that user friendly to um, change your settings. Like when you go to edit, um, you know you want to change your bit rate. You you have to have to change this um, number to I guess ten or something. That's the max. But for this instance, I'm just gonna leave it default. Close. And uh, well, let's begin converting click on convert it's almost the same process you see a uh, progress bar down here Let's see if and we have our flag file that's converted to mp3s and when it's done it's in a few seconds so it's done and it's over here now we want to uh, listen to it I'm just gonna hover it over it So it works, um, and that's all you gotta do. So if you have like those other formats that's not supported by Sound Converter, you can use whatever format that this one has, and now it's supported, and you can convert it your shit. And that's all. That's mainly what this program is different from the other program, is that it supports more shits. That's all.